Alright now, Jacob. So again, you can see this is the development of internal atrial septum. This is the right atria and septum primum and ostium primum. And on this side, this is the venous valves, right venous valve and left venous valve. Now you can differentiate the changes in this. Uh, in yellow color, you can see the septum secundum. Septum primum show the perforations and here is the ostium primum. This is the right sinus well, left sinus well, and septum sporium over here. In this area, you can see corner truncal region. This is the right superior uh, swelling of the conus cardis, which is going downward, and left inferior swelling, which is going upward. And here also you can see the septum primum and perforations in the septum primum. This red color area shows the endocardial cushions. Further changes. Uh, septum primum, left atrium, right atrium, septum primum. This is the endocardial cushion. This area is ostium primum, the right sinus valve and the left sinus valve and this is septum spurium. These are the two ventricles. Muscular part of interventricular uh, septum is now being formed and still there is opening which will later on will be closed by development of the endocardial cushions. On the back, you can see the coronary sinus, superior and inferior vena cava. In this diagram, you can see the further changes, the perforations now develop and they form the oblique opening that is oval foramen. Septum pri ostium primum has been closed by the opposing uh, endocardial cushions and the septum uh, primum with it and also the septum downward growth of the septum secundum, the right and the left sinus valves and the septum spurium. Here you can see the uh, both the ventricles, the right and left ventricles, interventricular septum, endocardial cushions dividing the atrioventricular canal into two, the right atrioventricular canal and the left atrioventricular canal. On back side you can see again the superior and inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus. Further developmental changes in this diagram you can see the only the right venous valve is apparent septum secundum and septum primum with oval foramen there is no septum ostium primum also the septum spurium and left venous valve left venous valve fuses with the septum secundum so here you can see only the septum